Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin. And in today's video, we're skateboarding on the half pipe. We're gonna recap the fall art tour. And finally, we're gonna get up into the studio for a little painting. All right, I was happy. I landed my trick right there. Let's check it out. So there's been a lot going on, but the first thing to talk about is the Fall Art Tour. It's a big thanks to everybody who was involved with the Fall Art Tour, all the people who helped plan it out, all of the people who came out to the coop, even just a huge energy to all of you who left comments on last week's video. I know all of you were wishing me well on the Fall Art Tour. I'm so happy to say that it was my biggest fall art tour by far. I couldn't be happier, so just a big thanks to, to everybody. Um, people brought me gifts during the fall art tour. I got a new White Sox hat. My friend Sharon brought me a bouquet of flowers, dahlias, and dragon snaps. And so all that stuff is just really special. It's, it's not every day that I open up my studio and let people see all of my new paintings. In fact, it's not every day that I see my paintings or anything else because I don't sit around just looking at my paintings all day. But during the Fall Art Tour, it was time to reflect on all of the work and I was so happy to share it with all of you. Last week, we premiered our new t-shirts. Corbin has been handling all of the online store in relation to the new goods that we're posting there. So I guess a lot of YouTubers have like merchandise for sale on their websites and that's one way to support your favorite youtube channels and i don't know we're just kind of getting ourselves into the position where we can do that too everything went smooth i can't think of anything that was weird we were of course masked and we had social distancing and all those kind of things worked out well nobody complained about the masks i will say having a, a art show during a pandemic it's nice to supply people with masks just because um, maybe they forgot theirs or something like that. I know at the school that I work at, we have masks at the front office if somebody forgot their mask. Of course, a lot of the paintings from this year were included on the YouTube channel. They were all videos that we had filmed that you all were along with over the past year or so. So I just was emailing people the videos that their paintings are from and I showed 140 paintings. I've heard from other people that they had a wonderful year on the tour as well. So that's the recap of the Fall Art Tour. I just wanna say thanks. The biggest people I have to thank, of course, are Corbin and my mom and my sister and my niece Felicity who were here. We even carved some pumpkin. <laughs> there's mine and there's Bella's pumpkin. So let's get right into the video today. In this video, I learned a couple new tricks on my skateboard. I'm sure that I already showed all those. We're gonna head up into the studio. I have been out painting after the fall art tour and in the evenings after school. The big painting that I worked on this week, I'm still not sure about. Maybe that's a video coming soon, but we are gonna get up into the studio during today's video and make a painting uh, from photographic reference that I shot earlier in the fall time. And that's it. So kind of a short upload this week, but thanks so much for being here. This grayscale sketch doesn't seem like much, and it's really not, but I converted the source image to black and white. And what that did was it allowed me to see the contrast of dark and light. I noticed that when I observed it in terms of value, the bluff was a darker value. The trees that make up that bluff was a darker value than the grass. The sun is shining down, hitting the grass directly, and those upright planes of the trees are a little bit darker than the grass so I noticed that in the value sketch 
And this gave me an arrangement of shapes to work with so that I can start to design the painting in terms of the pattern. Now I'm going to do a site size drawing, transfer it to the canvas, and then I will mix my colors using using my value palette and we'll get the painting started. I'm gonna continue the process. I'm gonna work on that site size drawing. I'm starting to work on the site size sketch. And my source image, the photograph that I'm working from, is on the projector screen to the left hand side of the screen on YouTube. I like having a nice big image to work from that it feels kind of like I'm just out in nature and there's a large subject matter that I'm working from. It's definitely a lot better than working from a little uh, photo or something that is printed out off of a computer printer. And I finished the site size sketch. I transferred the image to the painting surface. What I mean by transfer is that I used a piece of serial transfer paper and I traced over all of the lines and it has just given me a nice clean drawing to start from. And I'm using permanent rose oil paint just to get the sketch onto the canvas. And I'm also starting to fill in a lot of the areas of shadow with that magenta paint. You can see I grabbed a little bit of the wrong color paint. It looks like a little burnt sienna down there in the lower left part of the canvas. But whatever, just keep going. Now I did miss a day of filming in here and you can see I created kind of a tonal underpainting. All those browns and dark browns and blues. They were just the initial statement of the canvas and I didn't film that day when I was doing that. But the goal with doing that and the thing that I had to keep in mind while I was doing that is that I was going to be adding a ton of color on top of it. I'm using kind of a broken color technique. I'm using a large brush and I'm just placing pieces of color onto the canvas. Here I am starting to get things moving along. The animals were up with me on that day, Porter and Pico, and that's where I left it. I don't have a photograph of the painting unfortunately but I guess you can see where it wound up just by the video that I have here. Thanks so much for joining me for this week's upload. I will be getting out back out into the field in the next week and hopefully by next Friday we'll have a new plein air painting video. We'll get out of the studio and we'll enjoy the second half of autumn. All right, it's nice to have you here. I really appreciate you all being here and we'll see you next time. Will you show me your favorite painting, Felicity? Okay. That one? You like the you like snow because you like sledding, is that right? Thank you. Sold. Would you like to pay with a credit card or a check? <laughs> She's not paying. <laughs>